Now, a name synonymous with Arizona, Barry Goldwater. This past week marked the 50th anniversary of his presidential campaign, and although he lost, the conservative cause he started with his campaign is still alive today. Washington reporter Stephen Hicks went to the celebration and met with those who were close to Goldwater. Stephen? That's right, Nagin. He was known as Mr. Conservative, the father of the conservative movement in the 1960s. And 50 years after losing a landslide presidential election to Lyndon Johnson, he's still being celebrated today. A statue of his likeness sits in the Arizona State Capitol and soon will be one of two Arizona statues in the Capitol's Statuary Hall. But before he became immortalized in bronze, he was just a senator from Arizona. We picked our guy from Arizona. I didn't know anybody who had ever been to Arizona. <laughs> this was pre-air conditioning. Last week, a group that was there at the beginning of his run, much younger then, caught up to celebrate the man they once worked with. When I see candidates today who are manipulated, <clears throat> handled, they're handed to Goldwater wasn't like that. They celebrated his ideas. That extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. But they also looked at his campaign, even in defeat, as a model for trying to solve the problems facing the party today. What is the positive agenda that we as conservatives can provide as real answers to society and not simply be people who say no? Goldwater only won six states in that 1964 election, yet continued fighting for the conservative cause he believed in. Heritage Fellow and host Lee Edwards remembers a Goldwater quote where he said, I know I'm going to lose, but I'm going to lose it my way. Gold recalls a personal quote Goldwater told him. Politics is like bullfighting. And every once in a while, you get gored. Forget about it. Now, even though Goldwater lost the election, those at this event were celebrating, saying they can't remember hearing about the same 50-year anniversary for Lyndon Johnson. We're live in the nation's capital, Stephen Hicks, Cronkite News.